Hey Mountain Family, how's it going? So today I am 33 weeks pregnant. Seven more weeks until we get to meet her or if she's anything like her sisters, four more weeks until we get to meet her. Which feels kind of surreal. Part of me feels like this pregnancy has just dragged on forever. But another part of me is like four weeks. Four weeks, that's all I've got and I could potentially be meeting her. It just, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I can't wait to be done. Symptoms this week. This little girl has a favorite position. She loves to put her head into my left hip and that's about where she likes to stay. <laughs> I'm going to try to like visually show this to you guys. So here's my left hip, here's her head, and her body just kind of like moves like this, like a joystick. It's kind of like a joystick. Her head is right in my left hip and it stays there for the majority of the time. If I'm up and walking around like grocery shopping for instance, like something like that, she moves and she will move herself right over my cervix and that's fun but most of the time if I'm sitting or if I'm not really moving that much her head is in my left hip and she's sitting pretty low especially when I'm like grocery shopping and she's right on my cervix holy cow I'm like she's gonna dilate me I'm gonna go into labor any second just watch and <laughs> thankfully it hasn't happened yet but it's kind of like how that feels because she's so low while we're on the topic of her position my left rib right here feels like it's been bruised. Like it feels that way constantly. I don't know what is causing that. Obviously it's her, but I mean like, I don't know if it's like her foot or her butt or her something. I don't know what it is that makes my left rib feel so bruised all the time, but it's like all the time, <laughs> it's constant. And I really kind of dread having to deal with this what feels like a bruised rib because <laughs> it's what it feels like for the next seven weeks. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know how to remedy this, but oh, I wish I knew how. We're kind of already on this topic, so I'm just going to segue right into this. My body is in pain like pretty much all the time. My lower back, my hips, if I walk too much, like grocery shopping or any other kind of shopping, my feet hurt. I mean, everything hurts, you guys. When, once you see my belly here in just a little bit, you will see probably why. <laughs> I am in so much pain. It's because my belly is so big. I have a nearly full-term baby inside of my stomach and oh, it just makes my whole body hurt. Sleeping at this point has gotten pretty bad. Uh, pregnancy insomnia keeps me up until like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes later, sometimes like 3.30 in the morning. And then I get up when the girls get up, which is like 9, 9.30. This morning it was 10 o'clock. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was 10 o'clock, <laughs> which sounds late to a lot of people, but I was happy to get just a little bit of extra sleep because I toss and I turn and I try to get comfortable and I take a million, at least, potty breaks. And then I toss and turn some more. And oh, I just, I can't sleep until like three o'clock in the morning, most nights. And it was good to get a little bit of extra sleep. But yeah, that's basically what sleep is like. I sometimes take a nap during the day if I can, but a lot of times I don't. So I'm exhausted all day and then when I go to sleep, I'm still exhausted, I just can't fall asleep. And I have a really interesting symptom for you guys this week. I don't know if you've ever heard of this or if you've experienced it yourself. If you have, by all means, please leave me a comment because I think it's so bizarre. But I'm hearing like these audible popping noises outside of my uterus, but they're coming from my uterus. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a Walmart bag that you actually stepped on, but really, really faint. I don't know how to explain it. That's like the best I can do for you. I hope that's good enough. But they're actually coming from my belly. Like I know that they are. And it's so strange because I've heard of women hearing those popping sounds right before their water breaks. But I don't know if you've ever heard of it or if you have it, if you've ever experienced it, but it's kind of freaking me out just a little bit. It like scares me every time. And I hear it at least once a day, but it's usually like a handful, I would say. Three, four, five times a day I hear this audible popping noise. I looked it up on the internet and it said that it might just be the amniotic fluid popping around in there. I have never ever experienced this. It's seriously bizarre. <laughs> to give you guys an update on my weight because I've been giving you updates throughout this whole pregnancy. My pre-pregnancy weight was 145 and this morning I weighed 189 which puts me 44 pounds above pre-pregnancy. 
Fun fact, when I was in my second trimester with McKinley, like before 20 weeks, I weighed 189. And I'm 33 weeks with Andy weighing 189. So you know what? Although that is a lot of weight gain for somebody, I'm just, that's how my body handles pregnancy, number one. And number two, it's okay. Because it really does make me feel good that I weighed this much in my second trimester with Kinley, and I'm almost due <laughs> weighing this much with Andy. So I'm really hoping that when I go to lose the baby weight, it won't be as much of a process as it was after I had Kinley. I've only got one thing really to tell you guys in other news today, and that is Dev and I are going shopping this weekend for Andy, so be on the lookout this week for a baby haul video. Finally, I will have enough clothes to actually do one. <laughs> I do have clothes, don't get me wrong. I have some newborn and a decent amount of zero to three, uh, but I didn't want to do one already and then go shopping and then have to do another baby haul video. But I can't wait to show you guys all of the stuff that we have for her. Now I'm going to do a bump shot and show you guys my 33 week belly. Okay, so this is my belly at 33 weeks from this side. And I'm straight forward. My shirts do not fit anymore. <laughs> Oops. This side. And, and this is with the shirt up. I don't know if you guys can like see how low she's sitting. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be on Baby Andy Watch, my social media links are down below. And I will see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye guys.